Welcome everyone to the League of Cinephiles. I'm your host, Al Plummer, bringing you more cinema-related competition. Today, I'm very excited, very excited to be bringing you the first match of Season 2 of the League of Cinephiles, titled Faction Wars. Our first match, a one-on-one trivia exhibition match between two League of Cinephiles rookies for Season 2, Alex Holmes representing the Watchers, and the Dark Knight Guild representing Gone with the Wind. Now, I did not come to you alone. I came to you with your favorite co-host, or I at least think he might be your favorite, good old Tyler Bad News Banner. Tyler, how are you doing on this beautiful night? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Alex. I'm really excited for this matchup, and I'm great, excited to be back. I'm really hyped for this season. Yes, I am too. And let's just get right into it, talk about the matchup. So we have two mm-hmm. rookies here. Well, Al, it's kind of, Alex, mm-hmm. is he a rookie? Is he not? It's complicated. But um, he's one and one in trivia. He was a top trivia prospect coming into this due to, you know, obviously him being the first trivia champion ever. Uh, yep. Out, you know, being the only person to beat Hunter, really. I mean, so he's really a top recruit here. Then you have Gil, who was actually the number one person, the number one prospect. Again, representing Nikita and Gone with the Wind. But also, Holmes has a lot of pressure on him today, representing Agnolo and the Watchers. What does Holmes have oh, yeah. to do in order to yeah. kind of out-answer, out-knowledge, however you want to describe it, the Dark Knight Gil? Well, I think it all comes down to what Gil has to offer because we've seen Holmes, you know, and his thing. and But Gil... He's the X Factor here, and it all goes down to him. Does he know animation? It all goes down to like those little idiosyncrasies are going to make a huge difference. You know, the first round, I think it's not going to be as valuable here because I think both competitors, I have a feeling they're going to have a hard time kind of trying to get, they're going to be still warming up to the game in the first round. I think it's gonna definitely going to come down to oh, the category yeah. round. Yeah, yeah. Who can pull out those threes and yeah. fours, especially considering we have some hard categories mm-hmm. on here. So who can adapt best? Mm-hmm. Really, and then of course we have you know the format of these matches are changed, so obviously the fourth round mm-hmm. is different. Who's going to be able to pull out pull out their five or the three pointer? You know it's going to come down to that. So who, which of these competitors mm-hmm. is better equipped to adapt to the situation? I mean, we'll see. I mean, I mean, yeah. I have no stake in this battle. My faction is <laughs> battling, yours isn't. Yeah. So uh, let's just get straight to it. Let's introduce you to the competitors. So you know him as the Dark Knight, representing Gone with the Win. He is Gil. Gil, how are you doing today? I am doing amazing. I'm so, so excited to be here and to be starting out season two. Season two is going to be like the Empire Strikes Back. The first one, amazing, but the second one, going to take it to the next level, and I'm stoked for that. I like that. I like that mojo. I like that. Yeah, putting a lot of pressure on your opponent to come up with a better opening line. (laughs) Your opponent representing the season one faction champions, the Watchers. He, again, is another rookie coming into season two of the League of Cinephiles and the first ever trivia class champion, Alex Holmes. Holmes, how are you doing today? Good, good. You know, there's a lot of a lot of pressure, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm Nolo picking me seventh. I was really surprised by that pick. And then also, I didn't even realize I was the only one to beat Hunter. So there's also a lot of pressure there. So... I only hope I can. This, this is not very I'm getting me pumped up, honestly. I'm just kind of tearing myself down here. <laughs> all right, now let's get straight to it. Let's get to round one. You all know round one, same as always. Eight questions, eight random questions from all different realms of the film trivia world. One point per question. A competitor can get a maximum of eight points in this round, a minimum of zero points. We've never gotten zero points in a round. Maybe you'll be the first one. We'll never know. But um, yeah, three repeats that the competitors can use um, throughout the competition and one challenge. Again, 15 seconds per question. Bring it on. I wish you best of luck. May the best man win. First question of the match. 15 seconds on the clock. Which two actresses have portrayed Lara Croft on the big screen? Are you a fan of video games, Palmer? Video games in general, I guess. Yeah, like in five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's okay, get to Holmes. Up. Okay, um, Alicia Vikander, Angelina Jolie. And Gil? Angelina and Alicia. Alicia, I don't know. Holmes, Sorry. were you expecting him to get it wrong on the first question? Come on, you know better than that. Gil's a top tier competitor. He has a Casablanca poster <laughs> behind him, for God's sake. <laughs> I got a Casablanca poster too, by the way. I'll have you know. I have one as well. In Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the, cl- the character of Cliff Booth has what profession? I'll tell you why, Alex. I've been reading the 
book so far that Quentin Tarantino has made, and it is very, very good. It's making the book, it's making the movie even better, in my opinion. I saw him on Jimmy Kimmel, Three, that's all I know. Two, one, time is up. Gil, I'll start with you. What did you come up with? I wrote stunt double. Okay. Holmes, over to you. Uh, I wrote stunt man, actually. So. All right. Stunt double, stunt man. You both are correct. Cool. We had stunt man written down. So, Holmes, if there are any points oh, for clarity, I, I guess you get it. <laughs> but let's get to the third question. He starred in films such as Gone in 60 Seconds, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, and The Family Man. Do you like this actor, Tyler? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I haven't really seen a lot of his work, I don't think. Three, two, one. Time is up. Let's get to Gil. All right. Sorry. I wrote Nicolas Cage. Let's get to Holmes. I wrote Mel Gibson. The correct uh, answer is Nicolas Cage. Nicolas oh, Cage. Oh, oh. Nice oh. job there, Gil. Wow. Gil going three for three so far. All right. Go, Gil. In the Home Alone movies, Joe Pesci plays the role of Harry. Who put or trace his partner, Marv? Alex, I think that Home Alone question from that one film trivia matchup is always going to haunt so me. So obsessed with that? You won that match yeah. anyways. Yeah. Five, four, three, okay. two, one. Oh. Repeat. Repeat? All right. All right. Okay, Holmes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just like I, – I, I think of Home Alone. I, I immediately think of that matchup. I'm like, how did I not get that question? Three, two, one. Time is up. Holmes, we'll start with you. Uh, John Turturro. Okay. Gil, what would you come up with? It's not right. Ed Harris. The correct answer is Daniel Stern. Damn it. Oh, I was really – I thought Stern. I had that one. Oh, you my God. You wouldn't have gotten that. Fifth question. Nicholas Winding Refn directed Ryan Gosling in Drive in what other film? Nicholas Winding Refn is like a film Instagram, like, G at the moment. <laughs> Every every day, yeah. like a different post about him. Like, Jesus Christ. Anyways. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Let's get to Holmes. Uh, only God forgives. And Gil? Not as good as Drive, but only God forgives. Those are both correct. Both competitors getting that right. All right. Your next question. All directed by Alan J. Pakula. All the President's Men, Clue, and the Parallax View are a trilogy known by what name? I don't know, the only movie I've heard of all these is uh, All the President's Men. I've never heard of the other two. Oh, Clue and the Parallax View have been on my watch list. I, I, I've three, seen Three Days of Condor. Two, it's not even part of the trilogy. One. Time is up. Gil, I'll start with you. What'd you come up with? Um, the Watergate trilogy. Okay. <laughs> Holmes. That was an interesting right, guess. Uh, Holmes, about you? Paranoia Trilogy. And Holmes, you are correct. It is Paranoia. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. I didn't even know that. I was like, Good job. I just know they're all like conspiracy thrillers. I was, <laughs> almost, I was about to say conspiracy trilogy. But, like, I'm pretty sure it's Paranoia. <laughs> okay, I'm back in this. I'm back in it. It's tied up again. Yeah. Again, Nikita and Agnola are watching this, you know, sweat running oh, down their faces. Oh. <laughs> Seventh question. In what adventure film does the villain Thuggy attempt to use all five Sankara stones to rule the world? I really like this movie, by the way. I think it's Thuggy. severely underrated. It's an interesting villain name. Thuggy. <laughs> Thuggy. It's very intimidating. <laughs> Three... Two, one, time is up. Let's get to Gil. So excited to say Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Okay, I really thought he was going to get this one wrong. I mean, the poster in the background. Was, okay, <laughs> I also said Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones. And those are both correct, Holmes, using the visuals of Gil's background. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got to do no moment. posters next time. <laughs> That's why I got no points for doing it. Yeah, no, if there's a Heath Ledger or Dark Knight question, I'm screwed. Uh, but anyways, 
Let's get to the eighth and final question. Right now, the score, Tyler, is? It is five to five. Five all. Let's get to the eighth question. Okay. Congratulations. You are still alive, but most people are so ungrateful to be alive. But not you. Not anymore. What movie is this quote from? Probably an animated movie, right? Oh, definitely. What are you doing? Trying to throw us off on there? Definitely. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Holmes, let's start with you. Oh, I, I definitely didn't get it. The sixth sense. Uh... Okay. Gil, what about you? What'd you get? I put seven. I'm gonna continue the numbers okay. going wow. now. It's definitely Gentlemen, good. unfortunately, you are both incorrect. The correct answer is Saw. Okay, thank God. I thought, okay. it said, I thought it was seven, then I was like, oh, I'm screwed. Okay. All right, so that's going to end the first round of questioning. Tyler, the score at the moment is? We have a tie at five. Okay. Five all. All right, competitors can put their yep. notepad whiteboards away. We are out, down to our favorite or dreaded picture round, in which there will be three pictures of three different actors for both competitors, each picture being worth that many points in the sequential order. So there will be a one-pointer, a two-pointer, and a three-pointer for each competitor. I must see the competitor's hands at all times. Same as the first round, 15 seconds for each question. There are no steals in this round. All right, so again, the picture is just going to come up on the screen right away. Holmes, this is your one-point question. 15 seconds on the clock. Okay. Do I just say it if I know it when I know? Yes. Uh, Mary Make sure you say final answer too. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes. Final answer, uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Oh, that okay. is correct. Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Winstead, however you want to pronounce it. He gets his one point question right. Let's go over to Gil for his one pointer. That is Sydney Poitier, final answer. Everyone has trouble pronouncing it. That is correct. Sydney Poitier, Poitier, I don't know, but. <laughs> Two point question for Holmes. Uh, Alex Wolf, uh, final answer. He's not Holmes. He's not Helmer. He's a wolf. <laughs> Two point question for the Dark Knight. Movie sucked. It was so bad. <laughs> yeah. I'll get. We'll get to that in a post match we'll discussion. Later, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, looks familiar. I'm gonna go with Caleb. Landry Jones, final answer. The correct answer is Caleb Landry Jones. Yeah, for I two thought points. I had you when you were like hesitating a little bit. <laughs> like, oh, man. The Dark Knight never hesitates. <laughs> third, third, three point question for Holmes. I don't know. Maybe this is just like a weird picture of her or something. It's something not her though. Three, uh, Julia Roberts, two, final answer. one. You said Julia Roberts. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That unfortunately is incorrect. The correct mm. answer is Kirsten Scott Thomas. Kirsten oh, Scott Thomas yeah. of the English Patient. Three point. This is important for Gil now, Tyler. If Gil can get this question right, he'll take a three point advantage heading into round three. He will indeed. Uh, oh, man. Five, four, That's rough. three, um, two, Got to say something. Matt Damon, final answer. Oh, thank God. The correct okay. answer is Matt Damon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the correct answer is Freddie Prinze Jr. Uh, Freddie Prinze Jr. Oh Do we have God. any Scooby-Doo fanboys over here? Probably oh not. After okay. round two, Tyler, the score is? It's still tied, but we're at eight. So we're heading into the third round, the category round, in which a, a wheel will spin and a competitor will get a certain category. We have nine categories on the wheel, including opponent's choice. If the competitor does not like his category after the first spin, he can choose to spin the wheel again. However, if he spins the wheel again and lands on a different category, he will have to stick with that category. Now, obviously, a competitor, if they spin it once and they like the category, they can stick with that category. And there are four questions for the competitor's categories. 
um, each of them getting um, harder in the sequential order and worth, worth that many points in the sequential order. And then in this round, if a competitor gets their question wrong, their opponent has the chance to steal for that many points. Let's go over to Gil first because Holmes had the pleasure of going first in the picture round. For Gil's preferred category on the wheel, we have Paul Thomas Anderson, um, movie stills, opponent's choice, obviously. We have new releases, Oscars, world cinema, sadly, Jack Nicholson, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Bond. Gil, let's go to your first category. He lands on Arnold Schwarzenegger. Would you like to stick with Arnold or go to, go to a different category? We're going to go again. We're going to go, go again. Yeah. Okay. He lands on world cinema. Right. <laughs> that right. that me back. So All Gil right. will have to answer questions from world cinema. Okay. Now let's go to Holmes for his category. This might be really embarrassing. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> Paul Thomas Anderson. All right, I'll, I'll stick with it. You'll stick with Paul Thomas Anderson. Okay. All right. So the competitors have chosen their categories. Again, The Dark Knight will answer questions from World Cinema and Holmes from Paul Thomas Anderson. All right. So the ca this first category is World Cinema for Gil. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Let's do this. All right. Here is your first question. Akira Kurosawa often collaborates with this actor known for his roles in Seven Samurai, Yojimbo, and Throne of Blood. Shit. 50 seconds on the clock. Um. Five. It's it's four, not gonna come to me. Three, I'm not even it's two, not I don't know it. One. Okay. Uh like steal it? Uh yes, I I would like to steal. Thank you. Uh you would not like to steal. The correct answer is Tashiro Mifune Holmes with a big one point steal. Oh, as right. Gil already loathing today, he chose to respin. Yeah, I feel you. All right. Oh Second God. question. All right. Thomas Vinterberg's The Hunt was released in what year? 2000. 15 seconds on the clock. 2012, I want to say. Final answer. All right. Is it 2012? It is it's 2012. Oh, sorry, I thought you were asking me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> three point question. Alejandro Amanabar's first in feature with this horror film is Nicole Kidman. Five, four, three, two, one. Rabbit hole, final answer. I don't. That is incorrect. Let's go to Holmes for the three point opportunity. Wait, is there a penalty if I get it wrong? On the no. Okay, I'll just no. try. I mean, I don't know it, but to die for a final answer? That is incorrect, too. The correct answer is the others. The others, yeah. So we get to the okay. four point question. This is rough. All right. Two actresses were nominated for Oscars for their roles in Roma Yelisa Aparicio and who? Um, she lost to Regina King. Um, Marina de Tavira. So I think that's it. Final answer. Okay. The correct answer. It is Marina de Tavira. Okay. Big okay. four point answer right. there from Gil. A rough beginning with that category. He kind of saves himself with that four point question, putting a bit more pressure on Holmes going into his category of Paul Thomas Anderson. To get to his <laughs> one point question. What is Mark Wahlberg's porn alias in Boogie Nights? Oh man, I'm going to mess this up. Uh... Dirk Diggler, final answer. Uh, four, okay. The correct answer is Dirk Diggler for one point. Two point question. Which, which actor played roles such as Phil, Pharma, Phil Parma, Scotty J, and Dean Trumbell in various PTA films? I don't know any of those characters, so I'm just gonna take a wild guess. Uh, oh man. Oh, God. Uh, Five, four, Baker three, Hall, uh, two, one. And Gil for the steal opportunity. 
Philip Seymour Hoffman, final answer. That is correct for the two point steal. Big steal for like the kill. Too, too, uh, niche to be the second question. Holmes, these last two questions are very vital for him. Let's get to his three point question. <clears throat> Magnolia is center, centered around the lives of individuals in what city? Oh, I'm pretty. Oh, uh, Okay, Los Angeles, final answer. It is not Los Angeles. Let's go over to Gil for the three-point steal. This could be huge here. I'm like, it's, it's. Five, four, three, It's, it's two, not San Diego, one. but it's like, uh. It's not San Diego is what I said. Yeah, the but. time is up. But the correct answer is a city in California, but it's San Francisco, not San Diego or San LA. Oh, my God. That's, As we head oh into the God. fourth question, okay. fourth question, again, four-point question. What is the name of jo Joaquin Phoenix's character in The Master? We need the full name. Okay. Can I, I'll just take my Five, repeat, but like, four, yeah, repeat three, uh, two, he's, he's one. repeating. Okay. Repeat. Five, four, three, two, Damn. one. I got nothing. I got nothing. Now. Can I say it when I'm ready? Yeah. We're good? Yeah. Um, Freddie Quell, final answer. <sighs> So everyone, bit of a hiccup here. Um, Tyler and I had, a, I had a miscommunication with the score. So it looks like the match technically is still going on. The score as of right now, we thought it was 21 to 10 in favor of Gill, in which mathematically it would be irrelevant for us to get to the fourth round, but it's actually 2010. Um, unfortunately, Holmes isn't here. Can't reach him at the moment. So Gill is here. Um, what's gonna happen here is that it's 2010. Again, what has to happen is that Gill has to answer all of his questions wrong and Holmes has to answer all of his questions right in order for the match to keep going. Now, because Holmes isn't here at the moment, Gil is going to be answering his questions first. Now, because this is a new fourth round, um, we have this is new for season two. I'll explain the rules. Um, just like our uh, is a direct round, just like we had last uh, last season, except there are going to be three questions correlating to the director. The person, the individuals are going to choose a number between one and six. That number is going to correlate with the director. You're going to get a two point, a three point, and a five point question in relation to that in relation to their director. The Dark Knight will have to answer all of his questions wrong, and Holmes would have to answer all of his questions right in order for Holmes to tie Gill and force this into an overtime. Now, let's go to Gill for his random number from one to six, which will correlate to a director. Um, we'll go number six. Come on. Someone good. All right. Wes Anderson. Okay. Wes, Wes Anderson. Anderson. Wes okay. Anderson. Okay. All right. So again, all Gil has to do is answer one of these questions right, and the match is over for a second time. Just to clarify, I still have three repeats. Yes. I didn't use any before. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Brian Cranston played a part in which Wes Anderson film? Here we go. Isle of Dogs, final answer. And your winner, the Dark Knight Gill! How are you feeling right now? I know you've been a super fan of this for a long time. How are you feeling? This is a great victory for you. Again, you're set, you're, I mean, you're putting up people in the league on notice here. I mean, I... Yolo's watching this, Nikita's watching this, team captains all over the league are watching this. So uh, what do you got to say to them as you earn your first victory in the League of Cinephiles? I, I I really think those those three rounds showed showed a lot of what I had to say. I didn't know Schwarzenegger. I would have done worse in that than world cinema. You know, I'll I'll take the six I got there. Um, very very lucky with the PTA questions too. But you know, um, I'm 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 here to outwork everyone else. And if this was the first step to to the top, I'm. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. I don't know. I think I got to work on my weaknesses. Those uh, the questions about like uh, 
character names and stuff in movies. Like I don't, I never remember that stuff. So that was, I was hoping the PTA would be more like, you know, about the actors, like Phil Baker Hall, you know, I was ready with that one. <laughs> I thought it was going to come up, but oh well, you know, just sorry to disappoint on YOLO, you know, got picked so early and sorry, sorry on YOLO. I'll, I'll do better next time. This is important because again, this is the, our first match of season two. Gil is going to earn two points for his faction gone with the win, putting them in oh, yes. uh, first place, you know, first place uh, in the first match. I mean, does it mean much? I don't know, because it's the first match we've had. But again, yeah. they were, will be first place in the league. They'll be the first team to earn points in the league. Um, yeah, this should have repercussions around the league. I'm sure the Dark Knight is going to be someone who people are going to be watching their backs for. Who knows? Guys, off to a great start. Props to you guys. And that's going to do it for the first match, the first trivia match, the first overall match in season two of the League of Cinephiles. Ciao.